Tomorrow will mark one week since a deadly collision between a school bus and a train in Athens. While no cause has been announced for many East Texas drivers, railroad crossings are a serious problem. Long trains can cause big traffic jams and potentially dangerous delays for first responders. In tonight's special report, KETK's Mike Miller investigates why a solution is more difficult than you might think. Trains are no stranger to the city of Troop. It wasn't uh, a city until the railroad came in here. About 15 to 30 trains pass through Troop every day. Most of the, the railroad traffic that comes through Troop comes out of the Houston port area. Because of that, the trains are long with dozens of cars and a lot of cargo. As you come into town, you frequently will find the cross arms down on the main street and you'll wait uh, three or four or five minutes for a train to come through at approximately 25 to 35 miles an hour. For many, it's loud and an inconvenience. Even worse, if it's a stop train on these tracks right here, traffic can back up for miles on this main road. And it doesn't matter which railroad crossing you're stopped at. Long trains means long delays. Sometimes the trains can be stopped 10 minutes. 30 minutes, even 45 minutes, blocking pretty much all traffic in the city of Troop. It'd be nice to have a, an overpass here, a bridge to go under, you know. People trying to get to work, just doing our day to day. And trains happen, but, um, you know, around here it's, uh, it's pretty frequent. Whether it's a mechanical problem or a shift change, Troop seems to be the area where the locomotives stop the most. Talking with citizens, and is it, do they talk to you about this? Is this something that they complain about? Number one complaint, the number one thing mentioned on social media. Tiffany Broomfield hears a lot of those complaints herself. They'll come in here cussing because they can't get to work or because they're going to be late for work or their kids need to go to school. The delays can be annoying, but for first responders, it can be the difference between life and death. I mostly thought about that for myself, you know, trying to get around tracks and, and what I would need to do in an emergency, but uh, yeah, they could be stuck or, or maybe have to reroute. Police, fire, and EMS all say it's a problem they have to work around. Our local law enforcement and city management has direct phone numbers to the dispatch centers and to uh, supervisors and, and area managers so that we can get a hold of somebody pretty much 24 hours a day and request that they begin the process of separating the train so we can open these intersections. Troop also has mutual aid agreements with nearby fire departments in case they can't get to an emergency in time. So why are these problems allowed to continue? To find the answer, KTK News has been looking into this issue for several months, ever since we recorded some of this video. We found that there is a state law that says a railway company commits an offense if a train of that company obstructs a street, railroad crossing, or public highway for more than 10 minutes. This law is punishable by a fine of up to $300. Sounds simple, right? Turns out it's a lot more complicated. But we have tried on numerous occasions to enforce some sort of um, penalty on the people that um, operate the trains here and have found that we can't. According to this opinion from the Texas Attorney General written in 2005 by Governor Greg Abbott when he was the state's top law enforcement official, the state cannot implement regulations on railroads because the federal government oversees everything. As frustrated as I get as a, as a citizen when I'm stopped at that train, it's not something new. The mayor says the city has had dozens of meetings with the railroad to work on these problems. He says communication has gotten better, but there is always room for improvement. Nobody has patience. I don't even have patience for the train. Not when it sets there for so long. Unfortunately, the railroad was here first. So drivers will have to keep waiting and first responders will have to keep hoping their backup plans work if there's an emergency. In Troop, Mike Miller, 
KTK News. And railroad officials tell KTK News that they can do everything they can to work with local governments to make sure stop trains don't cause problems for drivers or first responders. The railroad also reminds us the importance of trains as they carry goods also create jobs and are a major part of our economy.